Y'all already know what time it, baby, I ain't been fired up like this in a minute. Baby, the city of Chicago has shut the fucking Donald Trump rally all the way down this Good Friday evening. Them black folks said, fuck that shit. We done paid our goddamn rent on time. And bitch, you ain't finna make America great again. Bitch, we finna make this motherfucker more than fucking great. We gonna keep it the same and make this shit even better. I am so goddamn glad if in any goddamn city, excuse my language, I'm fired up, I'm fired up, okay? If anything I wish, I wish diamond and motherfucking silk fat glasses, fat neck ass, big ass coon ass bitches was there to get their ass roasted too. Baby, that shit was everything. And I'm glad it was the city of the Chicago to shut that shit down. Shout town. Chicken in the car, but the car won't go. They shut that shit down, and it was, and it just made me feel amazing just to see so many different ethnic groups, so many different type of people, so many different colors, and so many cultures just banding together. I don't give a damn if they tore that motherfucker up. I don't give a damn if they had fuck Trump. I don't give a damn if they had the finger sign at the damn camera. We have been dealing with this racial undertone for the last goddamn year with Donald Trump. And it's time to put this shit to a fucking end. These Republicans have started a goddamn war. They have started something. They've been feeding into this shit. Even when it was the Tea Party, when y'all was calling him an Arab, y'all was saying he was a Muslim, y'all was saying that he don't give a fuck about white people. You were saying all this shit. All this shit. Y'all been stirring the fucking pot because it started, like I said, it started with this tea party at first. It wasn't because y'all did not like his policies. It wasn't because you didn't like he was a Democrat. It was more than the fact that he was a black goddamn man and he had a black wife and he had black kids. And you all didn't want them black babies to be inside that White House. That's what you all refused to say. But you've been doing this shit and, and, and Donald Trump just went on and he touched he touched these people that hate this man so much that they're sick of telling us to make this country great again. What, is that, what does that mean? What does make this country great again mean? Okay? Because when I look back, the shit that the president before him fucked up shit. Okay? And that's not because he's a damn Republican. It's because the majority of his policies were bad. And the fact that you dumbass hoes keep saying he kept us fucking safe, how is that when two damn planes flew into the Twin Towers on his damn watch? That's another story I'm not going to get into. But I am glad to see that one one of them big black men stood up and, and they looked, they looked white boy was fucking with him said, bitch, I'm not the motherfucking one. You think I'm one. I'm going to knock the fuck out your head, baby. If my, ooh, that shit turned me on so bad. I was so happy and I was so glad to see it. Donald Trump has been doing this shit and it's his goddamn fault. He has pissed these people off and they're sick of hearing this shit. You've been sitting here with this rhetoric talking about some banning Muslims, Islam. And that's the reason why these people want to continue to kill us. They don't want to kill black folks. They don't want to kill other Muslims. They don't want to kill Chinese people. They want to kill white people because of the dumb ass shit that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth and people like him. The Republican Party is on their last goddamn days and it's up to people like us to stop this shit we have got to get our ass out we have got to get registered to vote and we have to let our voice be heard not only in presidential elections but local elections too we have got to there's a change that's happening and these white people see it Okay, they see that shit. Some of these angry ass, middle old ass white folks who were who were living around the time that black people could not drink in the same water fountain as white people, they are still fucking alive. And they don't they want to see that country back from when that was. And let me tell you some of you hoes, I'm getting tired of seeing some of y'all asses instead of fucking telling us. Like, we need to put grab ourselves up and fix ourselves. We need to go to school. Bitch, some of y'all that had a hundred motherfucking, hundreds of goddamn years to continue on to pass wealth from generation to generation. Black people are just now able to pass on wealth to their children. You all have created this bullshit that's going on now. And black folks are sick of the fucking shit. They are sick of it. We got our own motherfucking tea party, bitch. And we gonna get this shit right on together. I'm just encouraging us 
to stand together, get our shit together, vote these fucking racist ass motherfuckers, these folks with these ignorant ass policies, because when you got folks like fucking Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, family, their family, their family are, their family are immigrants, but some of him telling folks that they can't come, like, it just makes no sense to me, and if you look at the poll, Florida is not white like it used to be four, eight years ago, 12 years ago. There are more Hispanics. There are more everybody. The whole pool has changed. And they're scared they're not going to be able to keep a hold on America like that. Now, never have I ever said I completely agree on Democrats on every issue. And I don't agree with Republicans. I think they're both, they both have good plans. But the fact that the Republican Party, a lot of you people are in the Republican Party, sit here and play these race games and act like nothing is going on, it's one of the, pre the reason why you all will never win the White House again. I don't care how many fucking dead ass people, how many crypt keepers you get to go to these goddamn polls, how many Sally's and Jessica's and John's you get, and Frank's, you get to go to the polls. It's some folks out of here that are upset and they're tired of the shit that's going on. And they're making their voice be heard. And I'm glad that it was the city of Chicago to stop that shit dead in this fucking track. The situation was so bad that Donald Trump couldn't even come to the goddamn rally. He couldn't even speak. And for that black brother who got up on that podium and talked shit, I appreciate it. It takes sacrifices like that to make stuff work. There are people who sacrifice themselves for the greater good. And that was a sacrifice like no other. That man might go to jail. He might such and such. But the fact that he let his voice be heard makes just bring chills in my body and makes me feel good as a black man. I loved it. I loved it. I'm here for it. And I don't care that I was watching CNN. And people are trying to argue, well, they're doing it because it's Democrats and um, they don't like Republicans and all that type of stuff. No, we've been having Republicans talk stupid ass shit for the longest. But now we have somebody who's tapped into those angry ass white people that sit up here, the angry folks who do hate Barack Obama, who do not, who think he's not, who he's Muslim, thinks he's not born in the United States, thinks these crazy ass, idiotic ass things, and just don't like him. Half these folks can't even tell you who their local representatives are. Half these folks that are angry can't even tell you the, the fucking three branches of government. And, and, and it, it's just sad. Y'all just don't like this man. That's all it is. And I'm glad you all, and, I, and I, when I watch it on CNN, how these folks, how they, especially Van, my guy Van, who be on CNN, was trying to explain to him, to this other man, that you're, you need to tell, he said this shit last week. He said that you need to tell this man to tone down his rhetoric. And this is only the beginning. This is going to be a long-ass road to the White House. And I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck if you want to vote for Hillary Clinton. I don't give a damn if you want to burn, uh, vote for Bernie Sanders. Let your voice, your, vo your voice be heard, please. Not just in this election, but your local elections as well. Because it's going to take, for, for so many things to be done for us to fix, we all have to band together and get this shit accomplished. And we got to get these folks out of office. We have got to. We have got to. There is no reason why in 2016 that the majority of this House and the Senate is white. It should not be. We should be taking on, we should be putting more folks that look like us and want to represent us. We have got to band together and do what we need to do. That's all I got. I'm glad. Shout out to Shout Town. I'm glad that y'all put this shit. To, I'm glad that y'all did. I don't care what they say about you. I don't care what they do. But this shit was needed and it makes me feel good. It's going to help me sleep at night. That's all I got. Donald Trump, you was a fuck. Ooh, I almost said, I almost said something real ugly. But I'm glad they gathered your ass right on together because the same, you, I've been seeing your dumb ass the way you've been trying to carry on and act like, you know, well, ah, da, 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 da. We know what the fuck you're doing. You, ooh, I'm going to say it again. We know what the fuck you're doing, Donald Trump, and we're just not going to stand for that shit in 2016. So you can go on back in yonder with that dumb ass bullshit. That's all I got. I'm, I'm going to just call it a night. Continue to watch CNN and continue to watch these folks get their ass gathered on national TV. I love it. Bye.